And now to share some thoughts on behalf of our student leadership class, please welcome Sidlali Esther Cisneros. It is an honor for me to welcome the students, parents, family members, staff, and community to the long-awaited senior commencement for the class of 2021. Welcome everyone. We are both excited to be announcing our award winners. So, would the following students please come to the stage and line up at the stand. Emmett Kirby. <laughs> Daniel Rivera Mayorga. Asaya Stevens. Zaire Thomas. Andre Blinkoff. Kenza Habibi, Catherine Pope, Mason Wong, and Kalkiran Kabede. So, while our awardees are getting organized on stage, we will share a bit about the four stages. Today is a day of great excitement, joy, and accomplishment. Relish it. Step one, just look around you. Just Turn your head a little bit, right and left. This is nice. Notice this moment. A lot of times we seldom notice when we're truly happy in a moment, when we're truly just there and it's everything is good and we're, we're, we're happy. I think especially during this season, during senior year, during graduation, there's so much looking back on memories. There's so much looking forward to bright futures. It's very easy to be so busy with that that you don't recognize like, oh, right now, right now, this is good. Change is the only constant in life. Being prepared for that change will suit you best. So run towards it. Embrace that change as an opportunity and relish the chance to grow, discover, get burned, and recover. Growing up, I can just close my eyes and blink and I remember that first day of sixth grade when you all showed up and there was so much crazy and look at you now. You are ready. Um, Ibia was really, it was born on the idea of how... Second, your legacy is based on the impact you have on others. So anything you accomplish in life, really, really what that impact is, is how are other people benefiting because of that. So think about your family, Think about your community. Think about your world at large. No labels could adequately describe the grace and ambition of this group. It has been my privilege to witness the initiative and dedication demonstrated by the graduates present today. And I am especially grateful to those students and families with whom I've had the pleasure to share an advisory. A group whose creativity, bravery, and collective sense of possibility became some of the foundational building blocks of this institution. It gives me hope when I look out at these young people because I know they will seek not only personal success but also to leverage their unique skill set for the well-being of others and the success of their community. Take a second to really bask in the moment of having no deadlines, no extensions, no makeups. You will never have to submit an assignment on ECHO again, and you'll never have lunch duty if you are late to class ever again. You won't get nagging emails from your teachers, and we won't be running after you to turn in your missing work or to submit your work by the 8.59 p.m. 
capstone digital portfolio deadline. We choose the word commencement and graduation to acknowledge that this is the beginning. It is the beginning of the rest of your life. So because this is the last time we'll be there, Whenever anyone asks me what made a BIA worth it or what do you love about a BIA, my immediate answer always is the intimate relationships with peers and teachers. For the past seven years, I have marveled at how students with very different backgrounds and upbringings and passions just play banana tag together. There was such a tight-knit community. Everyone knew each other. There weren't any discriminatory cliques, and th that was very welcoming. There was a plethora of opportunities to find your voice and be heard. Though it's a small community, it is very supportive. Today is the day, the day, the day we graduate in the final chapter of our high school career. Um, it's a day that we can celebrate ourselves, give ourselves a pat on the back and say, yay, we did it because what a journey it's been. We need each other because life is too hard to live alone and I hope that's something we all carry with us from our time at Abia. We owe a huge amount of gratitude to so many of you, to our teachers, Thank you for sharing your time, knowledge, and perseverance with us. To our parents, guardians, family members, and community, thank you for putting up with us, for supporting us in an endless amount of ways. At the end of the day, you guys were there, and we are so ever grateful. Thank you, and congratulations again to the class of 2021. Class of 2021, please rise. Yeah. All right, all right. Board, board member Rochelle Benny, as principal, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the students of East Bay Innovation Academy's graduating class of 2021. Now it is time to move that tassel, make sure it's on the right side. And you can go ahead and move it to the left side. The BIA families and community, with great pleasure I present to you the East Bay Innovation Academy graduates of the class of 2021. Let's hear one more big round of applause for our graduates. Thank you, and once more, congratulations, graduates. Please stand. <laughs>